special guest will be joining with us and she is a Charishma and what's special in her is that she cracked JE Advanced 2022 in her first attempt which is a great thing and today uh, she will be sharing her views, her experiences, her journey and how she prepared for uh, this JE and how she cracked it, her advices which will be given to the viewers and this is surely going to be an inspirational video to all the aspirants out there. So without much ado, let's dive in. So, hello Charishma. Hi Minu. And first of all, congratulations for cracking JE Advanced and that too in the first attempt which is not a small task. Uh, this is a very very big achievement. Thank you. Okay, Charishma, could you tell me uh, about yourself in few words so that our viewers also get to know more about you? Sure, I am Charishma. We are a family of three in Kakinada. This is my first time attempting JE Advanced. So this is a really great thing and let us know more about her journey and how she has cracked it. And uh, okay Charishma, uh, what was your percentile in JE mains? It's actually a bit low, 98.7. 98.7 is a bit low? No, it should be about 99 then. Okay. It would be better to get into best NIDs. Okay. It's that we have to get 99. So all the aspirants out there, you have to work really, really, really hard. So there's no compromise here, but really that score is really amazing. Thank you. So if you're getting a score, that means there is a lot of hard work behind it and the two cracking into the first attempt is really great. Thank so, you. So uh, is there a percentile in the JE Advanced also? No, there is no percentile in JE Advanced actually. Okay. It's more about like qualifying mark in JE Advanced, okay. which has been given directly by the institution okay. which held the JE Advanced examination. Could you tell the qualifying mark or does it vary every year? Yeah, it does vary every year. Okay. So this year I think it's something like 5 marks in each paper. Okay. I'm not so sure about that. Okay. So it differs every year depending upon like the toughness of the paper. Okay. okay. Uh, when you were uh, attempting the JE mains and advanced, how did you feel the difficulty of the paper? Was it moderate, easy or difficult? Both JE and uh, JE mains and advanced. Yeah. For mains examination, I think maths is a bit difficult this year. Okay. And physics or chemistry like normal. Okay. We can just attempt it if you have a best preparation. But maths is a bit difficult in mains. Okay. Whereas it's JE advanced, a bit tough. I felt it tough okay. this year. Okay. Uh, then coming on to your uh, uh, the JE mains and advanced. Okay, how was the registration process of uh, JE? Was it online or offline? The exam mode also? It's actually the registration is online mode, so okay. we should apply online. And when it comes to the examination, it is also online, but we should go to the allotted centers for it. Okay, okay, allotted centers. Yeah, we, we were right in the computer only, but there will be a center allocated for us, and we should go there. Uh, do we have a negative marking? Yeah, we do have negative marking. Okay. Uh, it is of the like minus one. Minus Actually, JE mains pattern has changed this year when compared to last year. Okay. Actually, it stays stable. This year, for twenty questions, it has negative mark. No, for twenty five questions, it had negative marking. Okay. There are thirty questions actually. We should attempt twenty five. Okay. okay, the five is a choice. Yeah, choice, and that choice would be only for ten questions. Okay. Yeah. Do you feel the choice questions are just uh, for uh, like? It is, does it reduce your time because you have to or is it advantage? I actually say it has both advantage and disadvantage because the time period is always limited for mains. Yes. It is more like how many more bills you can do it in a given time. So there are 10 questions that we have to study, right? Uh, so yes. It just take a long time. But it is all. it also have an advantage, right? If you didn't get a sum, we can try other. Okay. So both advantage and disadvantage. Okay. Then... Um, were the questions trickier because uh, were the questions too big so that it was wasting your time mm -hmm. and was it the pattern like that? Actually mains examination wouldn't be so tough actually when compared to JE advanced examination. Okay. Mains examination is more like how much fast you can attend the paper. It's too like few questions will be lengthy. It mostly comes during the integer questions you know. Okay. They give integer questions like four or five lines mostly in physics. Actually, it has a very simple answer. It's just doing the formula and doing it. So it's more like how fast you can 
And you should also be careful about choosing, choosing those 10 questions in an exam. Okay, okay. So a few questions seem very longer and you do not try to go there because it's time stickly. Okay. But it's not true. Actually, the question that is longer is easier to do than the question that is shorter. That's really there. That's a tip to all the viewers out there. Okay, Charishma, where did you do your schooling, uh, your intermediate? I completed my intermediate in Kakinara near my house. Okay. It's Aditya, Gangra Zunaga. Okay. I studied in it from 6th to grade 12. Okay. I can actually say like 7 years preparation for IIT. <laughs> That's pretty long. Yeah. Um, so, uh, what was the reaction of, of your teachers and your parents when you cracked it? Actually, my parents are so excited about knowing my math. So, this year paper is a bit difficult than expected. So, okay. I thought I may not even qualify. <laughs> but when I saw the results, I was like, wow, is it my math? <laughs> I didn't really expect that. So, my parents are happy. And my vice principal teacher, he actually supported me during the mains because it's not at all a good percent I what I got or what I expected actually. So when he saw the marks, he was like, good job. <laughs> That's really a great compliment, is it? It's like a blessing which we get from yeah, our parents and teachers. Uh, yeah, that was really great. Thank and you. And could you tell us about your preparation for JE? Yeah. Actually, the lockdown had a lot of impact on me because online classes, we cannot put the complete concentration on that. There will be other allegations that is pulling us back. So, after offline mode it started, I just started preparing into JE. Okay. So, I took a topic first. So, there are three subjects. It depends upon person. I personally feel maths is easy. <laughs> oh, wow. Physics is difficult. And yeah. chemistry is more like... If you prepare, you can score. If you don't, you can't. So I always start with physics. Okay. The topics that are difficult, that are difficult for me, I just put it aside. Okay. First, I start with something that's easy, so I can build up confidence for myself. Then topic wise, I would go because that's very important for JE advanced. Okay. In advanced, there will be no direct questions. Okay. So it's more like conception. How much more concept you know, you can use that concept in doing the sums. Okay. So, I just wanted to go into the conceptual way of the physics. Then I started in chapter-wise, going depth. And then later, I chose in the topics that are difficult for me. Okay, and what time do um, you wake up for this preparation? Actually, I'm not a morning person at all. So, I would stay late at the night and wake up late in the morning. Okay. Like 6 around. And my school starts at 6.30. Please <laughs> do not take me. <laughs> <laughs> Consider that for me. <laughs> okay, so uh, how was it uh, studying at the night? Weren't you feeling sleepy? Actually, that's a real problem. So when I feel sleepy, I just go around the house, like roam, chill up myself a bit, have a bit of coffee or something like that, water, and then just sit down, change the chapter, and again go and go on with the study. Okay, so uh, one thing to all our viewers which we can learn from here is that there is no particular time for studying. Uh, like which it is not that always it has to be in the early in the morning. It is the comfortable. What you're time. comfortable with, yeah, that's true. So it could be nights for some. It could be the early mornings. Yeah. So it's all uh, depending on your interest, and that's what we can learn from Charishma. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> then um, you, you have. Did you have any particular time table that I have to do this at this time? I have to study this subject at particular time? Something like that? Actually, that timetable will work perfectly on the people who are at home and okay. having some online courses. But I'm a student who goes to college regularly, right? Okay. So, my college is actually pretty much long. For everyone it would be, so from morning 6.30 to evening 5.30, sometimes I have night classes. Okay. It will be till 8. Okay. So, all my life Kind like I can say my college life is in college itself. Okay. So I have very little time at home. So at that time I generally study something that I feel I couldn't do well in that exam. Okay. That had held in the morning session. So that's how I do. If there is no evening classes, then I would make like take myself a bit rest and work upon the chapters that teacher told in the morning classes. Okay. Uh, which is your favorite subject? Mathematics, obviously, I love it. Wow, that is a really a nice answer because uh, there are many who are like afraid seeing the numbers itself. <laughs> Me personally, I do like maths. Uh, to be frank, all the subjects are oh. dear, very close to me. That's very great of you. So, and as you told, um, a lot of time is spent in your college 
college itself. Yeah. So we had a lot of preparation there. Mm -hmm. So at home you will be revising the, yeah, the chapters or where I'm doubted. Okay. Uh, anything that you have learned from your uh, mistakes that you have done? Yeah, the most mistakes that I made is like I try to attend an examination when I'm not prepared well for that. Okay. I told you because during the lockdown session I didn't really put my concentration much into the studies. So when the examination approached during offline, I was like so terrified to attend those examinations. Then I just stopped going there. But that's a mistake that I had made. And I recovered it in advanced examination. It helped me a lot. If you are not prepared or not, that doesn't matter. What matters is you should go and attend the examination. Then you learn something from that. Yes. That's what I had done in JA advanced. I attended. I couldn't get my marks. So I saw where I didn't get that. Teacher explains that reveal is always important. And I work upon it, then you get best marks. That's my suggestion and something that I learned from my mistakes. It's really a wonderful suggestion to all the viewers over there. And do you think luck matters in this exam or only sheer hard work? I think luck do matter in names actually, not in advance, because there are a lot of slots or shifts in it. Yeah. So sometimes you are an average student and the paper is easy and all can come near you and your person will drop sometimes. Okay. That luck is very one or two person. It completely depends upon hard work, 98 person hard work. Okay. We should concentrate upon that 98 person or this two person of luck, right? That is really a correct point which uh, Charishma pointed out that we should is it better to stick on to that 98 percent of hard work which has a lot of chances of becoming successful or to the two percent of uh, luck. luck that we, we are not even sure that we would get the luck at the right time or not mm -hmm. Charishma what would you uh, like suggest our viewers mm -hmm. for the preparation of JE mains okay for JE mains NCRT is enough NCRT, NCRT is enough yeah our Indian books like okay CBSC NCRT books there's a more than enough for okay. appearing for mains but for maths it isn't sufficient enough because okay. there is no depth yeah, in the CBS series, yeah. right? Yes, yes. So I think it's better for you to write, write more examinations that are available online or something like that for getting more practice. Yeah, more practice for maths okay. examinations for mains, physics, and chemistry, and CRPs. Charishma, what books do you suggest for uh, JE Advanced? I think for me, in my personal opinion, when it comes to maths, I think singles is a good book. Okay. Apart from that, we can do many practice sheets that will help us cover a lot of models. Okay. And when it comes to physics, for first year topics, I prefer DC Pandey. And for second year, for optics and modern physics, again, I prefer DC Pandey. When it comes to electricity, I prefer Galaxy. Galaxy. It's actually a good book. When it comes to chemistry, there are three parts, right? For inorganic, Prabhat Kumar or JDD is a good book. For physical, Narendra Vasti. Okay. And for organic, I prefer Himanshu Pandey. Oh. So, uh, did you also know previous year question papers? Yeah, previous year question papers play a very important role in attempting both main and advanced as well. Because it helps us to get the knowledge how different the questions are being asked and mentally prepares us to appear for the examination. Tarishma, you have done previous year question papers and while doing that and to that paper and the paper which you have attempted for uh, this JE, did you feel any similarities between the questions or are they all different? I say they are all different. <laughs> but even though we should do the previous year question papers because even though they are different, we can get a basic idea, right? Okay. That's important there. Yeah. So, you have to keep in mind that there is, there is no way that the questions are going to repeat because every year it's a new paper and the questions are very different. But the concept is same, so you have to be strong with the concept. And also, as Charishma said, you have to do the previous year question papers that you get a confidence while answering the main paper. So, uh, which institution are you opting now? IT Delhi. Okay. And which branch are you uh, going to choose? Electrical engineering. Electrical engineering. So you all the best for uh, your uh, future that. ahead. Thank you. And uh, how was your parents' support? Yeah. This journey. Actually, I told like I didn't prepare for lockdown. I stress on this point because it impacted me a lot. Mm -hmm. During that time, my parents really supported me a lot. 
and when I didn't prepare, I was so scared to tell them, like, I wasted my time. But even at that time, they were like, no problem, you can do that, I believe in you. So they told me, like, okay, start from where you didn't get and then go ahead. There is nothing that you can't do. It's something that you have to have interest upon, right? Mm -hmm. They supported me really well. I'm really glad to have such parents. Yeah, after hearing that this, surely our viewers also will be inspired and motivated. And what are your hobbies? Hobbies, I'm really a dance body person. I love to dance a lot and sing a lot. Wow, that is really nice. Usually they expect studious persons to be like, calm, quiet, no much hobbies. No, you know, the one who really studies well are the ones who really enjoy. Nerd concept isn't just true. <laughs> That point should really be noted down. We enjoy a lot. <laughs> wow. So it's not all about sitting tight and studying. You also have to enjoy the time yeah. which you have. And the time you have to study, you have to sit seriously and study. Yeah, that's true. And how do you spend your free time? It's like it's free time like I just put up the song and dance to myself or just Google something about the issues I don't know. Okay. Or just watching a few dramas. <laughs> wow. <laughs> So, uh, what do you, uh, like, the kind of advice which you would give to the parents watching? Parents? Okay. I tell the parents, like, do not stress your child, like, complete. You're not scoring well. You're not scoring well. That isn't real true because for a few students, it would be difficult. Few chapters. Actually, in school, the examinations would be, like, on a particular topic, right? Yes. Every week. Yes. But in the final mains examination, it's about all the topics. So when your student scored less this week, you say like, you didn't study well, you have watched TV or you just played the game so much, so your score dropped this week. That's not that real truth. It's just that your, your son or daughter is feeling struggling at that topic. So when next week their score is better, you just tell them like, you have not felt like done this chapter good, so just go back and revise that. I think that would be good as a parent. Okay. A piece of advice which you would give to all the aspirants out there? I just tell the aspirants like you should have interest like at first from 6th to 10th I had no interest of getting into IIT. My parents used to tell you have to get but I never found like the reason why I should get into IIT. Only when I know, when I had known then I started preparing for that very well. So when a JE, if you wanted to be a true JE aspirant, you should really be motivated by yourself and have interest upon what you are doing. Okay. One shouldn't feel like I should get into JE so I should study maths or physics or chemistry. No, you should get interested in that topic and then you have to prepare one. I think that's the only single piece of advice that I have for them. So, thank you Charishma. This was really an enlightening and motivating session. To me, as well as to the viewers out there, I myself am like so much inspired from Charishma. And I'm sure that if I'm inspired, surely uh, the viewers also will be inspired. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> and they have learned a lot from you. And I really wish that you rise high with flying colors. Thank you. And uh, come out really big. And I wish that your future goes well. Thank you for having me here. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. And thank you to all the viewers for watching this interesting session and I'll be coming up with more interesting and enlightening videos till then stay tuned to my channel.